The trial of Derek Chauvin and the death of George Floyd will stay in Minneapolis. The judge ruled on that and a series of other motions this morning. Chauvin is the former Minneapolis police officer fired after a video showed him putting his knee on Floyd's neck outside Cup Foods during an arrest last May. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily is following the latest developments. She's live outside the courthouse. Jen, what can you tell us? Well, Shayla, there were three main issues at hand this morning, and here's what happened. The judge ruled to keep the trial in Minneapolis and said he will not delay it. He will also allow a limited piece of a May 2019 encounter between George Floyd and Minneapolis police. And here's why that is important. The judge previously ruled it wouldn't be allowed at trial. The defense wanted it. The state argued against it. In body camera video, officers accused George Floyd of swallowing some drugs and he can later be heard calling for his mom. The judge reconsidered that 2019 case after the defense did another search of the squad used in the May 2020 encounter and reportedly found what appeared to be chewed drugs with Floyd's DNA on them. Now that was in January. So today, Judge Peter Cahill ruled a limited portion of the May 2019 incident is admissible for purposes of a medical diagnosis. The whole point here is we have medical evidence on what happens when Mr. Floyd is faced with virtually the same situation. Confrontation by police at gunpoint, uh, followed by a rapid ingestion of some drugs. We don't know exactly how many, but there, there was an admission that he had done it at the time of the stop. That is medical evidence. So we don't have the benefit of on the scene medical vital signs on May 25th. So the May 6th, 2019 case is relevant only to that extent. Mr. Floyd's emotional behavior, calling out for his mother, all that is not admissible. All right, as you heard, Floyd's emotional behavior is out, and that includes a witness the state wanted to testify. Now, another juror was seated this morning. She's a white woman in her 50s who loves animals, has worked in customer service, and is currently between jobs. So jury selection does continue this afternoon. There are currently 13 jurors. One more is needed to get to those 12 jurors plus two alternates. Shayla? Jen Mayerly reporting of